So to our surprise, we found that there is a link between the grandfather's molecular signature and the granddaughter's um, age at uh, Manaki is the timing of the puberty. And then this effect is actually stronger for the granddaughters than for the daughters. So we also found that there's um, contributions from both the grandmother and the grandfather, and then sometimes they work in um, opposite directions. So, for example, if one important metabolite has low levels in the grandmother's blood samples, then we see a very strong effect between the grandfather's metabolite level to the granddaughter's age at Manaki. So it's almost like a tug of war. And then we this suggests that the grandmother and grandfather's uh, metabolism work in combination Given the high chemical exposures that occur in the 1960s, we started to ask whether the chemical exposures at that time that occur in the grandparents' generation can affect the timing of puberty in the granddaughters. So we found that um, for in the ca certain chemical signatures like phthalates and the phenoxyethanol, um, these are common chemicals used in the uh, personal care products and they are also found in the food. We found that their levels from in the grandfather's blood samples have a link to the timing of puberty in the granddaughters. And then this is especially strong in the grandparents that have similar chemical exposure profiles. So I think this suggests that there is a contribution from the grandfather, especially what they were exposed to during the uh, periconception period. Mm -hmm.